What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, and I've been waiting for this, ladies and gentlemen. The fall of the left's champion. According to them, a great, great patriot, a great champion, the one that they anointed to, to fight against the evil, wicked, crooked Donald Trump, and using his damsel in distress, Stormy Daniels, to take down the tyrant Donald Trump. Yes, and now the great champion, their Goliath, has fallen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The great late Michael Avenetti, a.k.a. Creepy Porn Lawyer. Let's see what they used to have to say about their champion. Donald Trump has discovered that there are people he cannot bully that way. When he threatened to sue me, I dared him to do it. I begged him to do it. And of course... He was afraid to sue me, but when it comes to crushing Michael Cohen and Donald Trump's legal bullying, I'm nothing. I'm just a rank amateur compared to Michael Avenatti. We have seen no one like this. No one. It doesn't look like they've met their match in Michael Avenatti. It looks like they've met the lawyer who can crush them both. Adult film actress Stormy so, Daniels says... Um, that's crazy because, see, guess what, y'all? That's MSNBC. They're not biased. They're here to report subjective news. Um, they're here to report fair news. Not root for Michael Avenatti and Stormy Daniels to crush the president. Not to set Michael Avenatti up on a pedestal as if he should be brought in like Caesar. Hail Caesar. Yes. Uh, they went out on a limb, drugged this guy. On every station, every late night show, pumped him up as even a potential candidate for the presidency. And he just sucked it all up. He goes on Tucker and Tucker calls him out. Tucker says, you know what? You are taking advantage and exploiting Stormy Daniels while she's in the club shaking her booty. She's still on stage. Like, drop that booty, click that booty. Come on now, say, get it, get it. I want to rock, I want to She's in there shaking her booty for money. While Michael Avenetti is showing up every night on CNN, MSNBC, he's on all the late night talk shows. He's showing up with the black tie fairs. Uh, I saw him at some black tie fair where where Kelly Ann and 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 other uh, prominent people in, in in politics was there. And who do you see in the background with a big bow tie and a nice black tuxedo? Not Stormy Daniels. It was Michael Avenetti. He came in the background while they were interviewing Kelly Conway and you just saw him walking by like, hey, hey, look at me. Y'all see me back here, right? I'm Michael Avenetti. Yeah, it was good for him to be Michael Avenetti for a while. He was walking around saying things like, you know what? If I wasn't me, I'd want to be me. It was good to be Michael Avenetti for a while until the tide turned. Until he got hit right between the eyes like Samson did and now he's fallen. So, First, the accusations come out about him beating his, I guess, his girlfriend or ex-wife or something like that. Oh, his girlfriend. Um, and yet, he get, you know, he, he comes out of jail and he you know, comes to the microphone all cocky and confident, you know. First of all, I'd like to start off by saying these lies, these accusations, the lies, and I will be vindicated and all that stuff. Now, right then. All of these same pundits, all of these same quote unquote fair, balanced commentators and newscasters and anchors who hailed him as the champ. Now all of a sudden, like, let me tiptoe out of here because I don't want to be associated with this guy considering he said he was a champion for women. Yeah. And considering that the same stuff he was accusing, you know, Brett Kavanaugh of doing, you know, all of a sudden now we get winded. He like to play rough too. OK, so we're supposed to what now give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So instead of coming out and, and, and like they did with, with uh, Kavanaugh and saying, well, Michael Avenetti, did you do it? Because you probably did. And we believe the woman. They just simply said, let's go dark. Let's be quiet. Let's not bring him back on those shows. But let's not criticize him either because it would expose our hypocrisy and how stupid we were to bring this creepy porn lawyer, ambulance chaser on our shows and parade him around like he was a champion, okay? So they just shut down. And we ain't heard nothing from Mike Av for a long time until 
Stormy Daniels came out today and, and, and put out something talking about how Michael Avenetti launched some type of lawsuit against Trump for defamation against her knowledge and then was raising money for her, but won't tell her how much, where it's going, how it's being spent, all of this stuff. But he was a champion, remember? He's a champion for women. Yeah, he's here to vindicate Stormy Daniels. That's right. Yeah, when, when, when Megan Fox asked him, why is Stormy Daniels feeling like she is responsible for highlighting Donald Trump and, and the so-called uh, campaign donation? He was like, uh, to, uh, to, uh, he juggled it. He juggled it. He wasn't ready for that question. You know, cause she, she was, uh, cause she's, uh, uh, she's honorable and upstanding, something like that. And the crowd busted out laughing. <laughs> All he had to say was because it has nothing to do with Stormy Daniels, to be honest with you. It was all concoction by me. Cause I saw opportunity to extort money out of her, elevate myself, make a whole bunch of money, possibly get a book and do a full tour on all of your stations for free. And then possibly get a run at the presidency and elevate my own career and leave her in the dust. That's what he should have said. But now it's all come out. Okay. Stormy Daniels is about to now turn. The storm is turning. The tides is turning now coming right back on him. And uh, I think he sees it coming. Yeah. Not only is he in a little bit of legal trouble when it comes down to his uh, heavy hands. But now he also seems to be in a little bit of a pickle because his number one client. That he claimed he was her hero and she was his damsel in distress. She's now turning on him. And all I can do is give you the Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's the latest on the creepy porn lawyer. Hilarious. Uh, we all saw it. Everybody else saw it, except for all the liberal media stations who were so blinded by their efforts to destroy Trump. They didn't see that they were dealing with a slime ball. They didn't see that they were uh, using a crook to destroy who they feel is a crook. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they didn't see that. You know, they got dirtier messing with him than they accused Donald Trump of being. You know, so the hypocrisy, it never ends. So God bless you. Find me Wednesday nights, 730, Kevin's Corner. Also, um, don't forget to... Check out my links below. You can find me or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget to check out Extreme Tees. The link to them are in the bottom. They got great promotions for the holidays. You want to check out Extreme Tees when you get a chance. Uh, the promotional code is my name, Kevin. And if you want to donate to Kevin in Kevin's Corner, there's a link in the bottom to do that as well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time in Kevin's Corner as I follow the progress of the creepy porn lawyer, Michael Avocado uh, and, and see what ends up happening to him as he takes his great descent. Okay, that's what's happening. He's a plane going down. Yeah, no parachute either. He ain't got no parachute. There's not going to be any saving this guy. Yeah. So anyway, God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.